Okay guys, it's Alex here from the channel, welcome back. Um, we're just up here by the uh, quarry and to build our road down into the bottom there uh, to get our stone out. Um, we had to take down some trees, they sat here for a couple of years and they're all a bit of a tangled up mess along here and I didn't really know what to do with them, I was thinking of chipping them. Uh, but they were such nice straight bits of ash I thought we're going to put them through the firewood processor. So what Dave's done this morning is he's um, been sorting them all out using our grapple grab. Uh, we've got a six-way pile there. Uh, he's just loading up the jump truck now uh, with, with uh, the four-way split. Uh, and then we've got another pile over there. So two dump loads of wood and we'll get that back to the yard. Uh, it's just a nice way to tidy everything up. And then just there, that's just going to be a chip pile. So the next time I get the tractor chipper in uh, to do the, uh, the R blogs, we'll just nip them up here at the end of the day just to tidy this little side up. Um, so yeah, that all seems to be going pretty well. It's just able to fit in there, uh, so that's a nice job. Up the whole site now. Dave's just fetching the last log over there. That's our chip pile. Had a few six way splits in there. And now in the back of the truck. And I'll drive this back down to the yard and tip it with the other stuff and show you what we've done. Right, so these are the loads we've brought down. Our uh, got the six way here. We'll come down, Dave will sort these out again. Uh, and then these are obviously the four way, much thinner sticks. And uh, yeah, so the dump truck has once again proved its worth uh, as a very, very nice glorified wheelbarrow, as we say. Ben is on the bench, sawing away. A little bit of stock in, but not a huge amount, and the orders are still coming in, so we just need to keep pushing on that. Okay, guys, just down here at the stable block, um, we are we've done a little bit more excavation work here. Uh, this this line actually doesn't go anywhere at all. Uh, it just goes into a soakaway, which is under the building, and then on the other side of this building is where the weddings take place. Uh, so that's Cranford Hall weddings, um, and there's a, there's a building which has been built. Um, probably Victorian era and we now house the weddings in and that's probably blocked up some of the drains that come out here so we'll just go in there because Ian's in there and we'll have a look at what he's up to. Really quickly document this eh? Oh, don't put me on the YouTube. Why not Ian? Don't put me on. <laughs> I won't. But so what, when, I, when you look at it I'll be going like <laughs> <laughs> that's not a good look. <laughs> <laughs> All right then so this uh this has brick a bit on it round, doesn't it? But it's just sort of 
mucky brick, isn't it? Just yes. a bit of muck and brick thrown in. And then so the pipe came under there through through where you're standing, mm-hmm. and then it just sort of went into a hole here, did it? And well, just sort of soaked away. No, that's where we that's where we're putting our new uh, oh catchment our new chamber. Yeah, the catchment's yeah. going in there. So where did the pipe go? It went out to the other side, did well, it? Well, it's difficult to say. How it's, it's all been lost, is it? Here. Yeah, I don't know whether it goes. I think it, there's a bit that goes out that way. I don't know. There was a white, some sort of uh, brick construction around here. Probably yeah. That was a, some sort of soak away. Yeah. You can see there's a, like, a, I don't know whether it runs off that way. Yeah. As well. But then it just ended yeah, where the studio's been built. Yeah, maybe so. Yeah, or this might have been the soak away in here. Yeah. But it's full of brown mud quite deep down. So it's just you've become full over. Over time. Over hundreds of years. <laughs> <laughs> I see. <him. laughs> yeah, Tony Robinson should uh, come and give you a hand here. And this is our little catchment pot there, is it? That's for the that's for the yard. Yeah. Oh, that's the yard one, is it? And then you yeah. got another one here. Yeah, we're going to make. Uh, we've got a massive pipe, so we're going to make a cylindrical chamber there and have a pump in the in the bottom of it. And take the water out. Take the water out. That's fine. Yeah. Cool. That's, that's the plan. Now we know. All right, fantastic, Ian. Thanks so much. No worries. Cheers, mate. See you later. <laughs> uh. Okay, guys, I'm just down at the workshop and um, we brought down last week our log drying container. Those of you who've been seeing the videos regularly will know that we had a bit of a problem with this log dryer and that um, we had uh, just one opening at the bottom there uh, for all the air to go in and it was going down a narrow pipe. Well, it's 400 mil, which sounds like a lot, but actually... It needed to be about 800 mil, which is four times bigger. Uh, I can't find an 800 mil pipe, but what I've got is two 400 mils. So that's twice as large. Uh, it's not four times as large as what I need, but it's not bad. And Uncle Barry has cut a hole in there and he's put this flange on it, uh, which is quite nice and secure. And then inside of there, if you can see, he's also put a couple of little blocking um, barriers baffles almost to try and stop the air just shooting down the end and hopefully that's going to give a bit more of an even dry so I'm going to haul this up to the top wood yard now uh, connect it up to the dryer and um, yeah we'll see how we're going then okay guys we're just down in the quarry here um, the uh, quarry's right down the end here another some 500 meters uh, Dave's just working through uh, all of this brash that just seems to grow up like crazy now I remember as a kid, this quarry was completely bare. There was just a bit of grass on it and that was all. Uh, they finished mining, I don't know, I was probably here in 1979, so they finished mining uh, in the 60s. And the grass had re-established, but what's happened is as the soil is building up on this, more and more nature's coming in. So uh, the chute has a drive along here. Uh, it's quite a nice drive with high birds coming over, uh, but, with all this brash growing up, guns can't see the birds coming through. So Dave's just working through there. And uh, of course he's saving any nice timber uh, for the firewood processor. Uh, but there's a fair amount of um, <coughs> uh, willow in here, uh, which isn't much good. Obviously for any fires or anything, lime, etc., stuff like that, which isn't, nobody's gonna thank you if you deliver that to them. Um, so yeah, that's what Dave's doing with the digger down here. It'll be a couple of days working down uh, this whole length, basically. Uh, but that that uh, that uh, tree shear really does do a good job because I mean that is quite a deep ditch down there, two three meters down, and trying to to handsaw all this, uh, you'll be there forever. So it's just where well, it's a bit of kit like that. It's just absolutely fantastic.
there she is. Looking nice in the back. Santa has come early. Okay guys, we are just on the other side of the quarry. I'll try and put a map up on the video so you can see the two sides. Uh, but we're just doing a bit of clearing here as well. Um, and this was very overgrown actually. Uh, really close in with these trees. There's hardly any light at all. And we've really sort of opened it up for the shoot here. because It's a nice sort of bank there that the birds can come over. Um, and they also run a, a quarry fitness session here. So if you want to see that, I think uh, Google, Cranford and then Quarry Fitness. I think that will then probably come up, but we'll just have a little look along uh, and see what's happening. Yeah, so we've just been snipping all these into firewood lengths. Here's all the brash. It's starting to get a bit wet now, had a few rains. So um, yeah, it gets, Harder and harder to work. But through here, we're actually on an iron stone base. Um, so the digger can keep keep moving up and down. It's more when you try and do woodwork or field work that it just turns into an absolute shit show. So yeah, there you are. You can see the, the iron stone floor here. Yeah, this is what the lads were crying for. 60 years ago or so, uh, this ironstone, which would then get sent off to Corby for processing into, into iron and steel. But then obviously the model changed and these quarries became redundant because you could buy better quality, um, better quality ironstone from Australia, higher content, and uh, there's a massive amount of overburden that had to be moved. You can see how much had to be moved to get down to this bench. Um, which, you know, was okay. But then when the bulk shippers were invented, um, that's, this all stopped. But we're gonna come down here on the right hand side and also clear back this stuff um, so that we can get a nice proper, proper bit of space down here in the bottom. Um, so yeah, there we go. And we'll just go a little bit further around here just to do a little bit of clearing of the track really that's just got overgrown. So. Uh, yeah, it's amazing how quickly you can move on when you've got that digger and the shears. We've got plenty of firewood now um, to, to go at, so that's all pretty good too. Okay, so here's a picture of the quarry. Um, 
We were working just first off there, and then later on we're just cutting through here. So just these two little bits. Uh, this is the road that goes up to the wood that we were working in. Uh, the AD plant sits about there. This is parkland for the hall. And this line going across here is the old Kettering to Cranford. Well, Kettering to Huntingdon Railway, really, which is now long since gone. Uh, up there on the north, on the picture you can see, well, it's actually the south. That was a big quarry, which has now been filled with garbage. There's hardly any of that left at all. And where the railway line runs is, uh, yeah, across there is now the A14 that cuts through uh, where the railway line used to go. So, uh, yeah, you can see here that they would quarry a thin line through here and then just chuck all the overburden back here. And that's just been kind of left and gradually it's soiled up. Uh, but the scar still remain. There was no sort of reinstatement that used to take place back in the day. And this is a photo of one of the uh, faces being worked uh, by a steam shovel there. Um, and obviously, you know, all these lines have long since disappeared, but you can see it's actually running on a bed of ironstone. Uh, they'd slowly work back digging up that, uh, but there's a heck of a lot of overburden to get through uh, before they got down to the limestone, which just made all of this pretty uneconomic. Okay guys, so we're just down here back at the AD plant, that's the kiln there. And this is just starting to turn the boiler on now, so it's needing extra heat to keep it running, as well as the CHP there. So yeah, winter's definitely on the way. Okay, so guys, I'm just finishing off this drain. As you can see, it's gonna be quite a tight squeeze to get that telehandler mixer into the old cable house that they've got there. Uh, but they've got a barrel in the bottom there. Um, and that's just uh, one of those pipes uh, that we've drainage pipes that we've cut in half and then we'll put a, uh, a pump in there and pump it into the dirty water system that we've got. So uh, yeah, hopefully that will clear the problem out. Guys, so that's our new little toy in action. It's our little splitter. What we're trying to do is get all the oversized logs, which are too big to go on the deck. Uh, the deck will only take about 10 inches or so. And Dave's just splitting these up. Some of them need to be split like this one a couple of times. He's just having to struggle those last little bits off. It's a new bit of a toy, so we're just going to have to be doing a little bit of experimenting. Uh, at the same time, we've got Dennis uh, cleaning the logs. And we've got Ray bringing more logs in with the grab from up there. All the oversized stuff that we haven't been able to use. We're waiting for the splitter to come. So we're going to see what kind of a job it does. Right, so we're just getting into the back of our log store at the moment. And yeah, I'll try and show you some stuff here, guys. Just flip the camera. Yeah, this is the kind of stuff you get. And that log screener will take all that out and just clean up all those logs and make them really nice and then we can bag them up and out they go so that everything that comes out the bag is a real nice proper job Okay guys, I'm just up here on the top of the blocks, just give you a little aerial view of what we've been doing today. We've been bagging up all these bags, got a few more on the other side. This is our dry wood pile, 
not much of that left actually <laughs> and then that's all wet with heat um, and then back there you've got the wood chip but it really hasn't started moving yet and I'm sure as the weather starts turning we'll start to get the orders in and I've got a whole chunk of wood chip here which I've just been pushing up with the pusher just to make a little bit of space down the front if we need to park something like the lorry in there or whatever um, Dave's still working away it's pouring with rain outside there now uh, which is quite good because the the AD plant needs a bit of liquor in it. It was getting quite sticky uh, inside it and it was telling us there was quite a lot of back pressure on the pumps. So this rain is quite quite gratefully received and then the farms also just drilled uh, the barley. So that's going to all go quite well there. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed that video guys and um, yeah, we'll catch you next time. Cheers now.